Anyway, we must be getting some kind of nominations quiz. That's the only reason I can think that we haven't. Nominations quiz. Yeah, yeah. like nom like that board. Like who? Maybe we have to f pick out which housemate was was nominated the most, the least. Oh, I would be the most by like, far. They'll give us like a little quote because they smell, and then we have to try and guess who which one. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, that'd yeah. be a good game actually. Pervert. That's I quite a bad one. Steve. Uh, yeah, it's said pervert. And you can't trust them around fruit and do them. And um, okay, I can't be trusted. And it never them. finished my domination. It just, um, it just took key. It's a sandwich it. short of a picnic. Yeah. Absolute oh. loony. I hope yeah. we can do the. Where is that? I never want to hear a sound of Velcro ever again. <laughs> Beautiful sound. <laughs> what a, what the a sound. sweetest sound. Example. There was two good examples of how to swap a picture. First was Steve when he did you. No messing. Straight up to it. <laughs> that was it. And Molly when he did Sam. He'd already settled in his mind what he was going to do. He'd give the spiel first. Molly give it a little bit of spiel first. But there was no nonsense. It was unlike the previous week when Molly got the button out and started doing all his little bits and pieces <laughs> of the button. And then I love it though. Him. How Molly's reason for not uh, putting me, Joe... And um, thingy up was because we had, we'd only had a week here and we weren't, we weren't doing it. And then he just banged Sam up. I know, I know, but but it was because I went with that reasoning the previous week that that ended up the swapping day because I wouldn't swap you guys because you're. What ramifications upon you, Mole, as Lisa said yesterday? The br great British public well. can't believe you did that. I just want you to know that, Mole. I just want you to know. The public did not like you doing that, Molly. I didn't like doing it. You think I yeah, you loved it, really. You loved it, That's Molly. That's why you were okay on both sides of the bus. <laughs> Perfect, <laughs> right. He uh, he came up with some bull about him being chivalrous, so uh, yeah. he couldn't put the women up. I wouldn't put the women up. Oh, why? Well, don't give me that, Molly. What's the difference between putting a woman up and a man up? Oh. I put two women up. The two of mine were women. I know, I know. You fancy men and you wanted to get one out. <laughs> yeah, well, they was married. He was no good to me. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I'm not much used to you alive, am I, Mom? <laughs> yeah, actually, I didn't realise that both the guys were married that I came down to. Yeah, yeah, and that's something. Yeah. Two guys, both They're married. They're married, yeah. No, you yeah, there's probably some psychologist. They probably did something on Big Mouth about that. The psychologist <laughs> yeah. is probably on there Thanks talking so. about why you did that. I, just, I should have just picked Andrew. I'm glad Lisa tonight. rebuked you for doing yeah. what you did. Apparently, your friend, her friend Amy won them to happy about it. Who's Amy? That's a friend, Mo. Oh. That's another one of my fans. <laughs> yeah. That's my other one. <laughs> I know I should have just not swapped Andrew both times. <clears throat> yeah, that would be funny, dude. Yeah. You imagine him up one week, boom, swap the mole. Up the following week, boom, swap the mole. <laughs> I know I shouldn't put Mario up because I swapped him last week, but what the heck, boom. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like a nasty neck job, that one, wouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I think they were the best examples, and I think I think you all probably one of the best examples and one of the worst examples, Mole. The button, the button incident has got to be one of the worst ever. I was looking you for You dug a such a massive hole for yourself doing what you did with that one, man. I that I got you two I buckets of mud the following week off. That. And I still hold to this day that that toss was completely and utterly fair. That it wasn't, I didn't, wasn't even my mind. I, I actually had a pound coin, but it disappeared, and I was going to use that. Oh. That's where it's gone. It wouldn't have made a lick of difference more, whether it was head or tail. I was up. <laughs> Steve was uh, never going to make it. Look, I swear, I've already sworn to you that that was totally fair at all, so it was... It wasn't fair. I would not be fair was. about it. It would have been fair I if you'd have told him which side they were. We know more, right, that the great British public, I don't care what the tree of temptation said, are a fair people, they know what they're doing, 
And they've come in and told you you were unfair doing what you did, Mo. Oh, this coming from the same person that told uh, the person he faced up that he loved her the next, the previous day. I did, I did love her, but he got us at home tonight. I think Kiva came back. That was the best quote of a face up. What you said you loved me. <laughs> the best swap, the best quote of the face swap was Iffy when I swapped oh, yeah. Rachel. Not her, not her. <laughs> they all sat down and they're all like, Dave, just do what you got to do. We know it's not easy. None of us would like to be in this position. They're giving it all large. As soon as I swapped it, up they come. Through the vipers. Say that, yeah. <laughs> Why her? She's beautiful and she's whatever mixed race. She should never be up on there. Oh, I'm sorry. He's if he didn't use that as an excuse to cheat. She <laughs> said she's beautiful and she was genuine. Uh, yeah, but no, she said something about her being like mixed race or something or whatever. Her, I don't know whether she was she mixed race. Rachel? Yeah. She said something about her being mixed race and being really beautiful and being a, an example of how, you know, she would want mixed race people to be portrayed. It was something like that. That's why I'm sorry. That's a long ass spiel. Yeah, she did. She'd give it large. If you give it large. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, if. you got to do what you got to do. How, was, how, did, how did Rachel take it? She uh, cried a little bit. Later, didn't she? Oh. Yeah, she just cried a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 I said sorry. <laughs> I think one of the most... Um, when she was evicted, Dave was help pushing her out the door. <laughs> yeah, you must have felt a bit bad. No, yeah, him and John were no. each carrying her arm by arm to the door. No, I, didn't, uh -huh. I, I, I had nothing against her at all. But you know when you're in you, you've got to, like, when nomination time comes and other stuff, you've got to, like, make an opinion based upon, like, how you feel at the time. Like, I might be totally wrong. Rachel might be, like Nathan said, a really beautiful, genuine, loving person. But the ten days I spent in here with her... My opinion was that she would roll her eyes at people, would look down her nose at people, and that some of the ways that she presented herself around the house, I found it hard to deal with. I might be wrong in that. Like, I might meet her at the rap party and might think that she's a totally different person. Like, I wasn't, like, harsh or nasty or I didn't keep on about it. For me, it was just, that's my opinion. That's why I did what I did. At the minute, that's still the opinion I've got of her, but I'm willing to, you know, be, be wrong on that. You know, I, I certainly wouldn't have gone and given her a massage and bagged her like John James did. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't that sort of a deal. It was just a deal where that's what I think. I might be wrong. And I even said that in the diary room when I did my nomination that week. I said, you know, <laughs> um, this is my reason for nominating. I might be totally wrong. The British public might, might very well like her. And they'll be the ones ultimately to choose. So, like, I was willing to be wrong. Do you know what I mean? They did. They, they chose to choose. boot her out. Yeah, they did choose that. I think probably then was funny when he um he let Sunshine know he nominated her. Oh, dude, that was amazing. How did he do that? <laughs> Me and John James had a bit of a rip into him that day. Yeah. Yeah, what did he do? How did he do that? I know. Um, he told Shabby, and then Shabby didn't Shabby make it away or something? Yeah. He told Shabby that he nominated her. But he just said, oh, "I nominated Sunshine." No, he said he, that one week he had nominated someone that he was really close to, and then it portrayed. It, she said, "Oh, was it Sunshine?" And he sort of gave her a nod. I think. Did he get punished? No. Well, no. Uh, they put it up on the screen, didn't they? Remember? Yeah. That's why him and Shabby kicked off, wasn't it? I can't remember. It was all a bit complicated. It was too complicated for me. I know Shabby and Ben's big kick off came from when um, it was actually the first argument John James had had with Josie. And um, John was packing his like packing his stuff to go, and um, Shabby came Shabby came to the door and sort of like laughed not at John she was laughing and she said finally some of the drama was not about me because usually it always yeah, been about yeah. her but Ben misinterpreted that as um, that Shabby was pleased that she, that John James was packing and leaving which wasn't the case at all uh, Shabby didn't want John James to go um, and so obviously then that got that got back to Shabby via Jovan that, you know, Ben said that Shabby had rubbed her hands with glee and couldn't wait for jo John James to leave. And that, and then that caused that huge, massive argument in the mm. house. I think that's probably the main reason that Jovan went.
place is this house is so full of Chinese whispers. It's, it's like you have to speak to. Well, I was person. there though. Yeah. I was there when like it was all kicking off in.